Alright, welcome back everyone. Back cruising again, third day in a row. We're only doing a three mile cruise today, not a 28 mile or like a 40 mile or whatever. Well, Olive hasn't stopped the last few days, has she? But after and this, we haven't stopped, we're all knackered, I think. We're gonna, yeah, the spot we're going to today is gonna be quite a quiet spot. It's in the middle of nowhere. Internet's probably gonna be bad, but it is in the middle of nowhere. But here, it's near a town called, or a village called Misterton, and uh, a lot of people walk their dogs along here, so we haven't let the cats out. Um, but yeah, this place we're going is in the middle of nowhere. But you can't really moor wherever you want on here because it's, it's too shallow and it's very weedy. And uh, there's not much harm going. Not a lot of reed base along here, Oh, uh, yeah. But we've got two locks to do. Um, through Mr. Turn. Wildlife Tum. along here, that I've seen. Insect life. Yeah, it's very raw. Mm. Yeah, mum's not with us because she is. Going back to get the van. Uh, she's someone walking was, about 50 miles. Someone was really nice to give her a lift back to the van. Oh, I just missed a great shot of the factory over there. Get on the way back. Um, yeah. Paul of Timaru, who we met a couple of years ago, has given Mum a lift back to Washingborough. And uh, then Mum quite a way to back. get back. Yeah. 46 minutes, I believe. Mm. Um, yeah, and then she's going to do some shopping and uh, she's going to meet us up at where we're going to, which is just below She misses this cruise, lock. but she... I missed the cruise on Friday, didn't I? So mm. That's fair. Yeah. Um, yeah, just see it again when she comes back down. But thanks to Paul, she had that cruise all the way down, didn't she? Yeah. I thought she was going to miss that. So yeah, she was she well was, pleased yeah. with that. Yeah, it's, it's going to be raining for the next 10 days, really. Um, it's only about 18 mm. degrees today. Can you see it again? Not your typical July weather. You might see it from the loft. I'm just going to get a shot of this so I don't miss it. That's quite clear, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's been good fishing. Dad's caught a few fish already, hasn't you? Perch. Perch and some large bream. One was up to about three, three and a half pounds. The last mm. one I just caught. Um, but yeah, like I say, the weather's not going to be very nice. Um, it might rain today, it does look like that, but it's not supposed to really. Um, but we're going to be taking about four days off once we get to where we're going today. And then we'll be cruising again Monday. Straight away on this canal you'll notice how clear and shallow it is, but at least you get to see all the lovely fish. Pretty much all of the locks on the Chesterville Canal have anti-vandal locks on them using the Yale key. Pretty hard to do with one hand though. Now the canal was planned as just a narrow canal, but in 1775, just as the canal was finished, nine shareholders offered to fund the extra cost of making a broad canal from Retford to Stockwith. So from here to Retford is a wide beam canal and thereafter is narrow. But it's said that the only record of y beam boats using the canal to Retford is prior to 1799. So y beams only used it for about 20 years and that was it. And this is where the heavens absolutely opened and we got drenched. It's funny to think that the weather is still not improved when I'm editing this video on the 3rd of August. We go 45 miles to Chesterfield. I think it's about 45 and a half the total canal, but I believe we can only navigate about 30 odd. Because although the canal is restored in Chesterfield for five miles to Staverley, there is another nine mile dry section past the Norwood Tunnel. The Norwood Tunnel is the reason it is not opened because it collapsed. Ha 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 ha! 
why do swans always do this? They always run away from the boat, they never pick a side and then they always get split. We had to slow down just to make sure the chicks could get ahead of the boat. You have to be very patient on this canal because it's extremely shallow. It's shallower than the Ashby or the Klangoffin. It's probably the shallowest canal I've ever been on. On a regular canal, at 500 revs, we go 2 miles per hour. We're doing 1200 and we're going not even 2 miles per hour. It's very overgrown, much like the k and but that has the charm of it. Loads of wild flowers and butterflies and damselflies and dragonflies. Beautiful. But look how narrow this is. Can you imagine a wide beam coming up here now? I wouldn't want to take a wide beam up here. Imagine two wide beams meeting at the same time. What the hell would they do? Speaking of meeting another moat, we did. But luckily, we met him at a wide bit next to the bridge and he pulled over for us. And he said there's another boat coming. Look how narrow this is. Are you sure you can get a 14 foot wide beam through here? You probably can, but it doesn't look like it. Not that any wide beams come up here. Including this one, there's a total of three hire boats on the Chesterfield Canal. So it's a brilliant place to be in the summer holidays if you want to get away from all the busyness of the main canals. And this is by far the lowest bridge on the Chesterfield Canal. I had to go to the front and uh, put the antenna down. This is what remains of the old brickworks here, pretty much just the chimney. And we'll look at that. That is very obviously a marina in the works. But it's not really in the works because I believe this was first reported in 2019 and nothing's changed. And it's a bit of a mystery because no one really knows much about it. There's nothing been publicised about it. But it looks like they've probably ran out of money. Well, what do you know? The mooring where we wanted to moor is completely and utterly full. There's not much mooring at all on the Chesterfield Canal. I and mean, even if you wanted to moor more, it's too shallow and narrow, really. So you really do have to moor on the official moorings. But uh, looks like we have to go on and try and world moor because the next official moorings are quite away. There's parking down here and I wanted to try and wild more here but it's just going to be impossible. It's too overgrown, the, the towpath is too high and it's too shallow. But just before the lock landing there was a little part where I could jump off and it looked to me like it was a fisherman's spot and it probably was. 
But then I went up above the lock to scout out and see if I could moor up there and I just about think we could get in. It's just about deep enough, just about wide enough. So I think I head through the lock. And luckily we did, because apparently, yeah, that's definitely a fishing spot. The stern is just off of the lock landing and the bow is sticking out a bit, but you can get wiping past that. Just over the bridge before the lock is a little stand that sells honey and tomato plants. So we bought some honey and a tomato plant and mum has just got back in the nick of time. Total of uh, three boats past us? Yeah, well. Three, yeah. Jeff and Jackie. Oh, four boats. Mm -hmm. No, three? No, four. Oh, okay. I thought it was that There was one, one the first day, Mum. And then there was one yesterday morning. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then there yeah, was yeah, yeah, Jeff and Jackie. And then yeah. I said, Mum, we've I only had two boats all day. Yes. And then at six o'clock, another one came. Um, but they all managed to get past us fine, which was good. Really quiet. So quiet on here, mm. it's lovely. Um, we've had a bit of trouble with dogs here though, yeah. as usual. Um, <laughs> cats being chased and stuff, yeah. but um, you're gonna get there everywhere. There's a little village up there called Gring Drin Drin. Yeah, we're, back on, or we're back on the canals, that's the, that's it. The good bonus with the rivers with mm. the cats because there's nobody walks past, so yeah, that's the really nice thing, but, but yeah. We don't want to do a seven or eight mile cruise next time, so instead we're going to um, break it up a bit. So we're only going to do like a two and a half mile cruise today. Yeah, it's um, going to take quite a while though because you can only go two yeah. miles per hour. It's so shallow, isn't it? It's take about an hour and a half, maybe two hours because we've got one lock as well. But we're up at uh, oh, eight o'clock and it's half eight now um, because the rain is coming in yeah. at uh, ten o'clock. Ten o'clock and. It's not really going to stop raining, guys, all day, and then it's going to start raining at nine o'clock tomorrow. And it's going <laughs> to rain day. all day. It might, you never know, it might build the reservoir up so we can get through yeah, the locks. That's but... what we're hoping. We'll yeah. see. Um, yeah, we're going to get a lot of rain. <laughs> so we're, do, we're, do, we're going now. Um, well, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> so, join us, let's go. Enjoy.
very shallow to get off the lock landing here. It was so shallow that the boat tilted, which means we had no steering. So it was a bit of a struggle getting off. It's a lovely air around here above the lock, but even if you wanted to more, you can't because it's about two inches deep at the bank. Here we go, Drake Hall's tunnel. This reminds me a lot of Nozal tunnel because it's cut through like red sandstone and it's a very short tunnel. Just take a look at the variation of brick and rock throughout this tunnel, it's amazing. But now we're out of the tunnel, we can't turn until the stern is out of this narrowing. By the time the stern gets out of the narrowing, the bow is about six foot away from the blue boat. But then we can't turn the boat because we're going to hit the black boat. This has to be one of the stupidest moorings that the CRT have made. This should not be here. A 70 foot boat can barely turn. In retrospect, I should have gone to the front, but this caught me a bit off guard. And yes, we did lightly tap the blue boat, but what can you do? It was either hitting the blue boat or hitting the black boat. I just can't believe how stupid that is, that setup. We rolled up. <laughs> oh, Herbie's out. Um, oh, Herbie's out. Um, it's quite cold now. Yeah, it, it started to rain. Well, it started yeah. to rain about half an hour ago, half an hour before it was going to. Yeah, so yeah. Really been down there. Um, yeah, it's a lovely went, cruise. It went great. 
it until yeah. we went through the tunnel and yeah, yeah. But you see this tunnel here i put a satellite <laughs> imagery up um it's on a right angle bend when you come out <laughs> and crt decided to put moorings there yeah right there but so. the trouble is we can't turn because we've got the extra 13 foot if you're 50 75 <laughs> a 70 foot boat we can't we can't you turn can't around start. the boat the thing is yeah when you if we turn we're going to hit the boat we're going to hit the black boat because the stern is going to go into the black boat uh -huh. but if we don't turn the front of the boat is going to hit the blue boat Literally. so the front of the boat just tapped the blue boat he uh. comes swinging out of his hatch <laughs> didn't say much really no i i, I apologize so it annoys me when people you know get angry at me or i said so sort of sorry thing. i said but we're 70 foot i said yeah. we did we couldn't it's avoid it it's literally impossible to do it without hitting yeah. the front of the back I yeah reckon. anybody because the trouble is when you're coming out of the tunnel could be at 70 foot you can't start turning her no. you can't start turning her till you're out and of then, the tunnel the time you are the front of the boat's about six foot away from the blue one yeah so and then you can't swing around because you've got the black one there so it's, it's all right like josh said if you're 57 foot you'll get out there and round easy mm. but oh, no worries i apologize couldn't yeah. do no more so josh can't do any more so i apologize yeah, yeah. um we're more than the arm kind of we didn't hit the other one there. There was another yeah. one in front of the blue one. The lady came out, she was a really nice lady. And she, I was just coming out just to sort of push off if I needed to. Really nice, but fine. I didn't hit her, so. I didn't hit the black one. So, which I, uh, I was quite You didn't even really hit the blue it. one when we just lightly yeah. with the fender. So, no worries. Yeah. Um, we're here safe and sound and gonna go in and get a warm and have a nice cup of tea, I think. You get warm in July. Yeah, um, I know it's ridiculous. It's very cold. But yeah, yeah, there's it's pretty much full up here. And you look on the yeah. satellite in the street here, and it's pretty empty. Yeah, but yeah, it's full of the fish, except for one spot behind us. Yeah, we've pulled the boat as far forward as we can, and even off the armco and put a pin in the front. Yeah, because the solar panels are in between this gap. Yeah, so, so this is why we want want a head, mm. uh, because the solar panels. Well, if we get any sun, I can't see it for no. the next two days getting any sun. But. No yeah, worries. Got a couple of roads opposite us. One that side, one this side. It's a bit noisy being the spot. All the cats um, are out. Still quite nice. Jeff and Jackie are back there behind this grey one. Yeah. They're up, moored up there. We knew they were actually. Thanks to them, Jeff said about this this, armco, this armco yeah. here. He said, "Oh, it'd be all right if you come." He said, "But there's none none where we are." But this is a nicer spot, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to be there. And the cats yeah. as well. Yeah. But so here it gets. Quite a bit further away. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed our yeah. shallow cruise. Mm. <laughs> Very shallow. Going at what was it? One mile per hour? Yeah. <laughs> Can't you exactly while. go fast on there because it's just Well not... I'd like to see what we did, but Mum turned the engine up before she looked. Oh slow pace of life anyway, isn't it? Yeah. This so yeah. it was lovely. Apart from oh, the rain. Thanks for yeah, watching. Hopefully Monday we'll get better weather. And we'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.